how to rename a photo on your iPhone. We can all take great photos on our phones or even if we've uh, imported them, they all ideally need renaming. A couple of the key benefits. One is search engine optimization. If you put the name of what the product is or the service or the picture, if you give it a descriptive name off the pictures you take off your phone, it will stand a better chance of it ranking in the search engines. That's what we do by day. So if you take your image, rename it descriptively. So if it's a pink clutch handbag, so if it's pink clutch handbag, it gives a fighting chance for that image to rank in search engines on Google Images and also Bing, but it also tells the sites what that is on your actual web page. If you've got a web page of handbags, it knows you've got 10 images of handbags, not DS2176 stroke three, which means nothing to nobody. Another benefit is obviously if you're handing off these images to a designer or a printer or somebody like that, they receive the images and they know what it is. The amount of times we get emails or phone calls to say, oh, if you can put that such and such item on that page and it's like all the photos say photo one, photo two or DS2765. Now, if it's some industrial machinery, we might not know what it is. And also the person you handed it off to, it's probably in the same boat. So simply renaming your photos, A is gonna be a massive benefit on handoff, but also for the search engines. Now, I'm gonna fire up the iPhone and show you how to go about doing that. I'm Michael Hill and by day I run a design and marketing agency and on the night I make helpful videos like this. If you want more videos to help grow your business using all aspects of the internet, SEO, marketing and stuff like that, do follow us by tapping the subscribe button now. It's free, it's YouTube's answer to favourites. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any videos. So head over to your Photos app, scroll, find a photo you want to rename. I'm going to pick on a car. Hold and tap down, you'll see you've got the share icon. If we click share, that's a box with the up arrow. Scroll down, we're now looking for save to files. If you tap that, now we wanna create a new folder. So I'm gonna go into documents. So if you're familiar with Windows, let's, say, let's keep everything in documents, you don't have to, but if we tap documents, now at the top, upper top corner, you'll see next to the save icon, the folder with a plus icon, tap that. Now we've got to give the folder a name, something descriptive. So if you're putting handbags in, call this handbags or handbags for your e-commerce shop or whatever it is. If it's a car, call it the range. If you've got loads of cars, call it the particular range of cars. So it might be Rolls Royce. Then all your Rolls Royce images end up in that folder. The more precise you are, the easier it is going to be for you to find these images later, which you're going to need for social media and stuff like that. Now we'll rename this because this means nothing to nobody. So this is a Rolls Royce and obviously side profile. So we'll call it something like that. Actually calling it by the product name. There is a search engine benefit as well. And also the search engines will pick up the words. And also if they're on your website, it will pick up these. It all adds to the keywords on your website in the back end, the code. So DC176, as I said earlier, doesn't mean anything to anybody. So now we want to save that into that folder, which I'll do. We'll just check that folder and our image should be in there. Now, depending where you store your images, mine's on the iPhone and then they're synced to the iCloud. So I'm gonna to go to iCloud Drive. I'm gonna to go to my documents. We'll search for that folder we created. So it was picked for website. If you are finding this video helpful, do give us a thumbs up or a star rating, depending which option you've got. It does help us out. So we'll do another one very quickly now. Some of the steps you don't need to repeat because you've already done some of them. So select the image you want. Now you'll see in the lower left-hand corner, that same icon with the box with the up arrow. So what we're gonna do that is click the that icon, lower left-hand corner. Again, save to file or save to files. So save to files, yeah. Tap that. It knows the folder or it's assuming it's going to be the last action. So we'll just rename this. 
If you know somebody where this video will be helpful if they're running a business and they've got loads of photos that might need doing, by all means share the video. So we'll just go with that. We want it same folder, so we just click save at the top, le uh, top left hand corner, right hand corner. And that's it, we'll just check it. Now there we are, they're all in there. We've now got videos coming up shortly on how you can compress all these images and send them as an attachment. Also, how you can send them as an attachment to an email, but there'll only be a link so you don't end up clogging somebody's email box. So if you want to find out more, do, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.